We begin in Venezuela, a country in the grip of the worst economic and political crisis in its history, where hyperinflation and power blackouts are making daily life even more unbearable for a population already suffering from chronic food shortages. But despite the country's descent into chaos, some younger sections of Venezuelan society are still managing to live life to the full. And at the same time, they're doing their bit to help out. France 24's Andrew Hillier explains. It could be London, Paris or New York. But this party is being held in Caracas. For a young generation with money to spend, most rich Venezuelans have already fled abroad. But these 30-somethings refuse to abandon their country. If we leave, who will fight to get our country back on its feet again? A stylist is hosting tonight's party. In a country where the average wage for a government worker is only $6 a month, her $45 t-shirts are an unimaginable luxury for most people. Aren't you ashamed of such flamboyance in the midst of a crisis? No, on the contrary. We mustn't all plunge into sadness. Otherwise, we'll never pull through. Those lucky enough to come from Venezuela's upper class live and work here in eastern Caracas. There are no slums here only a business district. And there are bodegons everywhere, shops full of imported goods impossible to find elsewhere. To buy luxury goods like these, only dollars will do. Victor is part of Venezuela's high society. He supports the opposition to Nicolas Maduro's regime and hopes for a better future for his country. As a luxury property dealer, he's been hard hit by the economic crisis. But lots of businessmen who earn $30,000 per month only earn about $1,000 now. The revenues are in free fall. Yet we're in a country rich with petrol, and the business potential should be huge. Most Venezuelans spend on average four hours every day standing in line just to feed themselves. Basic ingredients like flour and sugar are nowhere to be found. Moved by the sight of so much poverty, Victor decided to set up a charity to bring food to the slums of Caracas. Several of his friends, from the upper class like him, are also helping out. Twice a week, they deliver 200 dinners to children and old people, many of whom suffer from malnutrition. I'm here helping to make arepas. It feels good to help. The volunteers have no trouble threading their way through the city's poorest and most dangerous neighborhood. Before the crisis, these youths would never have ventured here. But now they're welcomed. For these children, it's their only full meal of the day. It's also an opportunity to spend time with grown-ups. The meal is filmed from every angle. And the charity's members, lawyers, television hosts, comedians, are all social media savvy. We put these clips on social media. That helps us collect donations. People see how their money is used. That's brought the charity to life in two months. State aid is virtually non-existent. But in Venezuela, solidarity is sacred, and initiatives like Victor's are spreading to stem the humanitarian emergency.